Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope everybody is having a fantastic Christmas and spending time with loved ones. That is what counts in life. Um, and also, I hope none of you are experiencing your family members that are asking you, hey, what happened to the Bitcoin you told me to buy last Christmas? Okay, let's get into some important things right now. 2023 is going to be quite a wild year, so buckle up. All right, check this out. Richest crypto people have lost, on average, about a $116 billion, okay? I'm going to go over some of these people. This is since uh, March 2022. CZ from Binance. In March 2022, he was worth $65 billion. Now, $4.5 billion. Poor guy. SBF, he was worth... 24 billion. Now he says he's worth zero, but we all know that he's got a lot of hidden money and a lot of hidden customer funds that he's not telling anybody about. What a scumbag. Brian Armstrong from Coinbase, 6 billion in March. Now he's worth 1.5 billion. I'm only going to go a couple, couple more. Um, okay. So you have Tyler, Tyler Winklevoss, uh, from Gemini, he was worth $4 billion. Now he's worth $1.1 billion. And lastly, Barry Silbert from Digital Currency Group, he was worth $3.2 billion. Now he's worth zero, but we all know that zero is all relative because they have money, just other places. Okay, so next up, $10,000 invested last Christmas is now worth $3,500 this Christmas. Ouch. Hodlers getting kind of hurt, but you know what? I've learned the, the most profitable wallets in the world are the ones where people have either lost their passwords or have died. Seriously, it's, it's morbid, but you know what? The people that hold Bitcoin the longest are the winners. Next up, the Bitcoin network hash rate has dropped 35%, okay? And now this is, uh, many miners are shutting down and they're blaming blizzards in the United States. That's fine. This is temporary. Don't worry about that stuff. If miners can come back from when China had banned mining, Bitcoin's fine. Like that was a huge test with miners. Uh, hash rate continued to, to climb after that and they're totally fine. And they got off state grid, which is great. Next up, Binance trading volume is crashing. Is that something to worry about? No, it's, it's, so it's, crash, it's crashed to January 2021 levels. It's just because it's Christmas, not a lot of volume, and we're in a bear market, and people are freaked out about what happened with FTX, and they think the same thing's going to happen with Binance. So that is why people are freaking out. Next up, this is uh, from Stanley Drunkenmiller. Okay, I got some interesting things to say about this. So once inflation gets above 5%, it never comes down unless the Fed's fund rate has gotten above the CPI. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, so the Fed fund rate right now is at around 4%, okay? But CPI, which is Consumer Price Index, which is government inflation, not including food or fuel, is at 7.1%. So we are way below 7.1%, okay? And if they were if the Federal Reserve was serious, which they're not, okay? They are not serious about uh, inflation. They would raise it like Paul Volcker in the 80s, 18%, 17%, easy, right? And they would actually not pass a 17 or 1.7 trillion dollar spending bill that they rushed to get past, that was 4,000 pages long, right? They wouldn't do that. Of course, they are hell-bent on creating more and more inflation. This, is, this should be obvious for everyone, and monetary inflation is a great catalyst for Bitcoin. In the, future, in, in the past, we've seen the greatest monetary expansion in the, in the history of the world happen over the last 10 years, and Bitcoin has done fantastic in that. Okay, next up, you have Jim Cramer. You know, the guy that said uh, to, to buy Lehman Brothers right a couple days before it crashed? Well, he says he's warning people to stay away from cryptocurrencies, especially Solana and Litecoin. Why did he pick Solana and Litecoin? What does this guy know about 
anything about crypto. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's a fool. He's a scam artist. Stay away from whatever that guy has to say. Lastly, I just want to thank you, one of our CT Club members. If you want to check us out below our CT Club, you get our trade alerts and portfolio updates. But this guy says, thank you once again, Toby, for keeping us in the loop through the fog of this bear market season. Heidi and yourself have been, have been instrumental in keeping Crypto Tips members ahead of the curve, holding on to more than most out there in these murky, treacherous uh, waters. My membership is probably the best money ever spent. Thank you very much. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.